A man accused of opening fire on Douglas County deputies still awaits his first day in court. And Sheriff's Office says the proof is in this picture. You can see where several bullets hit this ballistic shield. Deputies think the suspect fired about seven times. So Cobus charged into the house near 83rd and Keystone. The canine officer, though, never made it out. 59-year-old Mark LaRue now faces a felony accused of shooting the dog. And that's along with three counts of attempted murder for almost shooting deputies. KETV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with reaction from the canine unit. In Brandy, Omaha police say they exhausted every option, including tear gas and cutting the power, but nothing worked for 26 hours. Today, the canine unit got emotional, talking about the partner and friend that they lost. It's tough. I, I had to watch Officer McKinney's kids say goodbye to Cobus, um, but uh, I would rather do that than have to have them say goodbye to Matt. Sergeant Steve Worley says in the face of danger, his canine partner Pippin would do the same thing for him, a fearless and loyal companion programmed to protect his partner, just like canine officer Cobus. Cobus was attempting to do his job to the very end, and, and that drive came through that night. Worley says they were running out of options and running out of time during Saturday's standoff, worried without electricity their suspect may be coming hypothermic. So an officer saw an opportunity to go in, K-9 Cobus bravely led the charge. Best decision that had to be made, and, and I strongly believe they made the right decision, even though the outcome was obviously tragic and not what we wanted. The outcome meant Cobus had to give his life to protect others. His loss felt by the whole K-9 department, their first line of duty death since the program began. It's like, you know, another officer losing um, a member of, of their crew that they work with every day, so it's tough. Worley says they almost sent in his dog Saturday, but knew no one had a better chance than Cobus. Cobus was the fastest, the strongest, and after years of loyal service, he was about ready to retire in March. But Cobus had to fall so his officers, his partner, could live. These dogs serve a purpose. We love them, but uh, they're also warriors, and, and um, when we have to deploy them to keep ourselves and other people safe, that's what we do. Now we asked about canine bulletproof vest, but Sergeant Worley says it would not have saved Cobus's life. He also says Officer Matt McKinney is taking the loss hard, but will get back to work to honor Cobus. OPD is also planning a memorial service, but when that will be is still up in the air. Back to you.